Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to bring you another video on how to install a radiator guard on a 2021 Aprilia RSV4. The reason why sometimes people ask me why radiator guard you don't go in off-roading? Well, my previous bike got pretty, pretty bad damage after going on a group ride. We're going probably like 60, 70 miles per hour and my bike I hit with the small rock on the radiator and then it was a it was a mess because I lost a lot of coolant and I had to call a tow truck to tow my bike. So for that reason, I'm installing radiator guard. It's not a lot of like an investment. It cost me around $150. Uh, I bought it through Ape One Racing. I will gonna include the link below so you can take a look as well. All right, so this is what comes with the uh, with the kit, right? This one goes on the top part of the radiator, and this one goes on the lower part of the radiator. It comes with some zip ties and these foam pieces, which I still need to figure out how it goes. Uh, but um, let's take a look and then start with uh, installation. All right, I'm gonna show you how to remove the fairing on a Prelia uh, RSV4 2021. Uh, I'm gonna need a four millimeter hex key to remove one, two, three, four, five. Now I got those five out. And now we move to the top of the fairing right here. Where we have, I'll show you. You have one right here. Then, then two, then three. And there's another one right here, but this one is um, a star key. Um, I don't know the size yet but that's another one we need to remove. And there will be another one on this side that we need to remove as soon as we take this part out. I'll show you. All right, let's start removing this. This one is a two and a half millimeter hex key. Four millimeter start key. So remove the top one right here. All right, once remove the one with the start key right here, you can pull this one out. Oh, before we do that, there's one more screw that we need to remove right here with a two and a half millimeter hex. So once we remove the, um, the screws on the side of the fairing, we're gonna remove, there's another screw right here where you're gonna need a screwdriver. Take that one out. Then we have a hex key here. Oh, the other way. This is with the four millimeter one. And then we focus on uh, the clips that are right here. There's one right here, that's one, two, and there's one more on the bottom. We have one more. That's gonna be right here. Right there. And for that, we need the we need four millimeter. All 
Alright, so remove the fairing uh, on the left side. You have to do it on both sides to have access to uh, this part of the radiator. So, this has to right here. Now, right. there's another screw on the bottom right here that I just removed. And for that one, we're gonna need a three millimeter hex key for that. It's right here in the bottom fairing. All right, going back to the radiator. So we gotta remove this bolt right here. Here we're gonna need an eight millimeter socket and a ten millimeter wrench. A radiator guard right here. This one's gonna be holed up by the cover. Put it back there. All right. And now let's install the top one. This one right here. And then we'll repeat on the other side. Alright, so I added some zip ties. One here on the top. One here on the bottom. And then one here on the top. You can see it right here. And then one here on the bottom. There's a small hole in the guard, right here the guard, that you can get through the radiator so that it can be attached. 